I'll tell you this, though. That's when you realize that your wife is your best friend. Right? I have best friends. They won't have a baby with me. <laughs> we, we made a human together. And she did that for us. And that's how you know that your wife is your best friend. And I looked at that little boy and I thought to myself, one of these days he's going to leave. And I'm going to be stuck with her again. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> till death. <laughs> Not till death. Well, we die first. We do. Men die first, ladies. It's not the notebook. We don't hug and die. Like, that's not... <laughs> In real life, we die first. And then, ladies, years later, you die. Right? It's true. Everybody in here has a grandma. <laughs> At some point, grandpa goes, fuck it. <laughs> I'd like to be in heaven by myself for a little while. You know, all the grandpas are in heaven having a good time, and all of a sudden, pff, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> I tell you not to eat the salt and vinegar potato chip. <laughs> well, Brenda showed up. <laughs> I love what I do, man, and I love that you guys come out. I love that you call your wife's Captain Evil like I call mine. <laughs> I love to watch you laugh, man. That makes me happy, you know. You guys like to watch me, I like to watch you. I'm like, yeah, I do. I like when you laugh, you hit your wife, you know. And your wife looks at you when you laugh too hard. <laughs> my favorite thing, though, is sometimes uh, after my show, these girls in their 20s, and they've never been in a real relationship, you know. But they'll come up to me and they go, you're my favorite comedian because your jokes are so funny. And I'm like, jokes? <laughs> this is a documentary. <laughs> So here's to all you women in your 20s who are single, listen to me, because I want you to be happy faster. <laughs> Lower your expectations. <laughs> you're not a princess. Your father lied to you. <laughs> I'm going to marry somebody rich. Mm, probably not. <laughs> but if you really want to be rich, rich in the things that matter, find a real man, a family man, a man that wakes up every day and goes to work. You will be happy and you'll be rich. And I know you young girls are like, oh my God, I want that. <laughs> but can he also have abs? No. <laughs> Men that work hard don't have abs. We have one ab. One, one big ab. Oh, it's hard. But there's only one. And I know all you young girls are like, Ugh. I'm never gonna sleep with a man that looks like that. Yes, you will. <laughs> Maybe not tonight, but eventually there's gonna be a fat, hairy, sweaty, balding man on top of you. He's gonna have sex with you for a good three minutes, strong. 